six technicians working at the same rate completes work of one server in 10 hours. If they start at 11 am and one additional technician per hour is being added beginning at 5 pm, at what time the server will be complete? All right. Options are 6.40, 7, 7.20 or 8 p.m. Now, look at the first part of the question. It says six technicians working at the same rate complete work of one server in 10 hours. They complete the work of one server in 10 hours. That means total work, total work will take 10 hours. Total work will take 10 hours. Now, if they start at 11 a.m. and one additional technician per hour is being added beginning at 5 p.m., at what time will the server be complete? Now, if let's say there are no changes and the work gets started at 11 a.m., at what time should they complete? See, they start at 11 a.m. You know that they take 10 hours to complete the work. So 11 a.m. plus 10 hours will be 9 p.m. So basically, they should finish the work at 9 p.m. if there are no changes. But there are changes in this case. What happens? They start at 11 a.m. But from 5 p.m. onwards, from 5 p.m. onwards, one additional technician per hour is being added. So till 5 p.m. there are no changes, but from 5 p.m. one technician every hour gets added. So it is obvious that they'll finish the work faster. They'll not take uh, it will not take 9 p.m. Right? They'll finish it before 9 p.m. itself. So how do we crack this now? Understand? From 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Right? Is how many hours? From 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. is how many hours? <coughs> or or 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. You know is uh, uh, how many hours? 7 hours, right? So for 7 hours, there are no changes, right? Sorry, not for 7 hours. 6 hours, right? For 6 hours, there are no changes, right? For 6 hours, there are no changes, okay? Now, so 6 hours, all these 6 technicians would work. <coughs> how many technicians? 6 technicians, right? Now, at 6 p.m., what happens? At 6 p.m., uh, seven technicians would work. Sorry, at 5 p.m. itself, seven technicians would work. One second. Yeah. So let me just put it this way. From 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. How many technicians? Seven technicians. And they'll spend one hour. Right? Again, from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. How many technicians? One more technician will get added. So they were already seven. Plus one technician gets added. So eight technicians. And they'll work for how many hours? 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. is one hour. And so on. This continues. Right? Let's say one more uh, this thing 8 p.m. till 8 p.m. How many technicians? 8 plus 1. Now 9 technicians would work for how many hours? 1 hour. And they would continue the work till it gets completed. All right. So that's the point which you need to understand. From 11 a.m. to 5 p.m., which is for the first 6 hours, only 6 technicians are working. Then from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m., 7 technicians work. 6 p.m. to 7 p.m., 1 technician got added, so 8 technicians. From 7 p.m. onwards, 9 technicians, and so on. <coughs> now, if you see, the total work was done by uh, 6 technicians in how many hours? 10 hours. So, in 6 hours, how much of work will get over? 60% of the work gets over. Yes or no? If they can do the total work in 10 hours, if they can do the total work in 10 hours, right? In 6 hours, they will do how much of the work? 60% of the work. Right? 60% of the work. Then, you, all you need to now find out is how much work will get over in each hour after 5 p.m., right? From 5 p.m. onwards. Are you able to follow this? Is, is this breakup of time clear to all of you before I proceed to the next statement? Is it breakup, breakup clear? Till 5 p.m. there are 6 technicians and after that one technician gets added every hour. Right? Is that understood? Right, this part is clear. So how do we solve it now? Understand. Uh, you know that total work is equal to number of men into number of days. Right? Total work can be taken as number of men into number of days. Now in the actual case, what happens? Number of men into number of days or number of men into number of hours? In the actual case, six technicians can finish the work in 10 hours. So I can say total work is six men. They are working for 10 hours. Right? Now here what happens, you see. In this case, initially six technicians work for six hours. So, 6 technicians work for 6 hours. Plus, after that, 7 technicians work for 1 hour. 7 technicians work for 1 hour. Then, 8 technicians work for 1 hour. 
and so on. Then nine technicians work for one hour and so on. Now the only thing that you'll have to do is continue this process till you balance it to 60. Are you able to follow? On the left hand side we have already got 60. 6 into 10 is 60. So the work to be done is 60 units. Now see 6 into 6 36 is done. Plus 7 into 1 7. Plus 8 into 1 8 and so on. Or, or let's say after that 10 technicians work for one hour. 11 technicians work for one hour and so on. I mean this is how it would continue. Right? The process. Now keep adding it. So plus 8 plus 9 plus 10 and so on. But you will have to cut at that point where you find that 60 is already achieved. We want total to be 60. So see 36 plus 7, 43. 43 plus 8, 51. 51 plus 9, 60. So in this itself, I am getting 60 units. Yes or no? 36 plus 7, 43. 43 plus 8, 51. 51 plus 9, 60. That means I don't have to go to this point. 10 units, 11 units and all that. This is not needed. I can stop here. I can restrict my work here itself. So 6 into 6. 6 technicians work for 6 hours. Remember, this is up to 5 p.m. This is up to... 5 p.m. right this is 6 p.m. right this is 7 p.m. and this is 8 p.m. so can you see the work gets over at 8 p.m. yes or no up to 5 p.m. 6 technicians work up to 6 p.m. 7 up to 7 p.m. 8 up to 8 p.m. 9 <coughs> so we can conclude that the answer is 8 p.m. the work gets over at 8 p.m. which is option D